would appreciate that. Um, it's been uh, noted on social media that a member of the public who was present was wearing a scarf in the colours of purple, white and green and has been asked to either remove the scarf or leave the room. Um, can I seek some so guidance? I'm going to, I'm going to suspend the, the meeting. We'll have a discussion about this in, in private. We're suspending the meeting and we'll discuss this as to why this happened. I wish to address an issue which occurred at the Equality, Human Rights and Civil Justice Committee this morning, which members may be aware of and which members have raised with me. At that meeting, a visitor to the public gallery was asked to remove a purple, green and white scarf. Having declined to do so, the visitor was informed that she would not be able to return to the gallery. This request was made by officials in connection with the Parliament's Code of Conduct for Visitors, which sets out that the display of banners, flags or political slogans, including on clothing and accessories, is forbidden. Let me make one thing crystal clear. Suffrage colours are not and never have been banned at the Scottish Parliament. We actively support and promote universal suffrage in a number of ways at Holyrood, and we will continue to do so. I would like to advise the Chamber that the action taken this morning was not prompted by any members of the committee. The action taken was an error, and I would like to apologise on behalf of the Parliament. The wearing of a scarf in those colours does not in itself breach the Visitor Code of Conduct. The Parliament wishes people to engage with the Democrat democratic process, including observing elected representatives debate and make the law of the country. Thank you. Um, Rachel Hamilton. Uh, can I thank the uh, presiding officer for making it clear um, that no breach uh, had occurred within the Equalities Committee this morning because I had planned to make a point of order regarding this particular issue, presiding officer. I think it's important that you have um, confirmed that MSPs are treated exactly the same way as the members of the public and the suffragette colours were not in breach of the guidelines um, set by this Parliament. So can I thank you for your intervention and for sharing that with Parliament and being clear regarding that. Thank you.